parody of Couch Tomatoes, 24 Reasons Why These Two Movies Are The Same. I'm just making a parody, I am not copying, and I'm doing anime. With that out of the way, let's begin. So to start off with, I'm gonna talk about the main character's behavior. She's aggressive, mean, angry, tough, but she's nice when she needs to be nice. And all in all, she kicks butt tall. This applies to all the characters in the Digimon seasons, but I'm going to be saying Season 5's main character is technically speaking just the just the male version of Matoi, honestly. Like, seriously. Exactly like. I'm not kidding you. Go watch season 5 and you'll see. Wow. Diamond is really like Matoi. The main character gets into his, her first fight in her whole entire life. And they totally fail. When Matoi first sees Senketsu, well, it's actually kind of a preferred scene. But the point is, she was shocked. Just like every single person in the Digimon series, when they first see Digimon, they will always be shocked too. There's an animation and a theme song for when they evolve. Main character needs to actually fuse with the Digimon or Senkinsu to evolve. Now the fourth one I'm saying was like they evolve, but the fifth one I'm saying they have to fuse together in order to evolve. Now this is a little bit different because in Digimon, some seasons they actually have to fuse in order to evolve and they can't evolve themselves. This is one of the reasons why I really thought Kiliko was like Digimon. There are these little tiny bosses in pretty much every single episode. In Digimon, they, each episode they will usually have a thing going on, a story plot, and around at the end they will have a little mini boss that they will have to fight. In Kill la Kill, sort of the same thing going on with the clubs, and yeah, mini bosses. Our main characters are students. In Kill la Kill, there is a perverted sensei, which turns out to be a very helpful person to Matoi. In Digimon, there are a couple of pretty helpful senseis. Um, I, not actually teachers, but more like an uh, older person to help you out. There has to be a peaky in the showers. <sighs> yeah, they both have it. The main character gone mad. Matoe just gets super angry and just turned into a monster. Well, in Digimon, this hatred power does also evolve their Digimon into something really horrible too. Main character all of a sudden just really hates their Senkeitsu Digimon because they just hate him because ah, oh, because you're in my life, I totally hate you now. Matoe can fly, so can the Digimons. There will be this one or two episodes where our main character will have to duke it out with the bad guys in a city. So we're talking Godzilla type destructions going around and around, baby. Good guy turns bad. Bad guy turns good. Bad guy is main character sibling. Sister! Brother! Da da da! There are characters in Kill la Kill that die, and in Digimon, pretty much every single season, there will be characters that die too. And it is actually kind of cruel when you think about it. I mean, I know that's what makes it awesome, but hello? Final boss wants to destroy the world. Final boss takes place in space. Super evolution! This evolution is a lot more impressive than the last evolution that you have been seeing from before. And it only will take place like around the last episode. Usually when our main characters are really winning and the bad guys will ask something like, How are you guys becoming so strong all of a sudden? And they'll have this speech where they say, Me and Senkensu are like, as one, or the, or in Digimon's case, it would be the Tamer and the Digimon have to be as one in order to defeat you or something like that. You know, the point is they'll just have a speech like this. The goodbye scenes. In Digimon, for some reason, the Digimons cannot hang out with the humans anymore and they will have to say their goodbyes and it'll be very sad. In Kill a Kill's sake, Sekats is dying and he has to say goodbye. Really sad. And the last reason why I think these two animes are the same is there are a lot of naked people in both the series. <laughs> hey, hey, this is this is my twenty four list. I, I can say whatever I want. <laughs> I, I'm listening. To, I'm listening as one. <laughs> Final one, twenty four. Everyone's naked. <laughs> Those are twenty four reasons why these animes are the same. You agree? Yes? No? Maybe so? Leave a comment of what you think. So, I love the Digimon series, and that is especially why I like Kill la Kill, because it reminds me so much of Digimon. Either way, I think you should check them both out. Maybe if you're not over 12 years old yet, I recommend you just go watch Digimon and not Kill la Kill first. And I hope you guys enjoy this, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!